finding ways to keep the lights on when the sun's not shining and the wind doesn't blow is seen as the holy grail of transitioning to renewable energy. In Western Australia's northwest, a landmark trial is set to test whether so-called green hydrogen could be the solution. For Joel Famlonga, the weather can be both a blessing and a curse in the coastal town of Denham, nine hours north of Perth. When the weather's nice, it's full of people, and when it's windy, they all go. But it's thanks to Denham's abundance of sun and wind that a groundbreaking renewable energy project is about to start. Joel Famlonga, for one, is all for it. Well, it's something you don't think a lot about, but it's good that they're trying this sort of thing in a small town like this anyway. As part of the $8 million trial, state-owned energy provider Horizon will use electricity from a new solar farm to produce hydrogen. From there, the hydrogen will be put through a fuel cell to supply enough electricity to meet about a quarter of the town's demand, reducing the need for dirty fuels such as diesel. 100% firm renewable is the holy grail of electricity. This is what everybody's trying to achieve right around the world. Depending on the success of the trial, the WA government says Denham could provide a template for other towns across the country, as well as boosting energy security. We are importing into this state 6.7 billion litres of diesel each year. And you just think of that from the carbon footprint, the, uh, our supply chain uh, vulnerability. Despite the hopes for the trial, Doubts remain about how viable hydrogen will be as a fuel source, given the high costs of production now. Horizon Power, though, is hopeful, saying trials like the one in Denham will help make hydrogen more affordable. Because the future's there to be grabbed and it's just a matter of having all of the right settings now to go do it. This shows you it can be done. A potential glimpse of Australia's green energy future on the sun-drenched west coast. Daniel Mercer, ABC News.